everyone, welcome back to Brown Love Books. I have a book box here to open for you. It is the Hushbug book box. Uh, Canadian. Um, I normally would tell you about things like um, what month it is, how much it cost, etc, etc, except I looked in my email and I cannot find the order confirmation for this box. So did I buy a special edition? Did I get the regular month? Did I... I did pay for it. <laughs> I know I paid for it. I don't know how much I paid for it though. So <laughs> if I find that info I will drop it down there in the description for when I'm uploading this because this is going to be like two to three weeks before you probably see it unfortunately but um yeah I, I honestly don't know and I feel kind of terrible for it but uh <laughs> it is what it is so we're just gonna get right into opening it also so nice of the delivery people to put the fucking label right on top of that nice what I assume is a book sticker yeah that ain't coming off either Bastards. Not delivered with Canada Post, so like, well, it is, but it's a bit shit shit. Okay, I'm gonna open this mofo up. If there's a lot of cat stuff in this, then that means I ordered the special edition cat box, because that definitely sounds like a thing I would do. I just honestly don't remember and can't find it in my email, so it's what we're going with. Could have been the Christmas one. That seems less like me. Honestly, I'm not that big of a Christmas person, despite my multiple... Christmas shirts I bought recently, which is now out of season because you're probably seeing this in January. Why won't this open? What did I do wrong? What did I, seriously, what did I do wrong? Stubborn. You fucking stubborn bastard. Oh, good, it's right on top. It was the December 2022 box. Oh, spoilers. I don't want that yet. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> Okay, they've got their lovely branded sticker. Everything folded up nice in tissue. Little squiggles that my cats will love. So it is kind of like a cat box. She's behind the camera right now. She's just like, what's that, Mom? <laughs> okay, just so you know, you made my day. Oh, it's a little hair clip. It's a little hair clip. It's like, uh leather? I don't think it's real leather. Leather, little, little leather hair clip. That'll be nice. I should put that in right now because it's a weird little piece. It's just like, I don't go in the braid. <laughs> Still there. <sighs> okay, <laughs> we have apple crumble mix from Gourmet Village. Um, I've got strong feelings about Gourmet Village, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, all you need, half crumble mix pouch, half apple spice mix pouch, four tablespoons butter softened, two baking apples cored, peeled, and chopped. And then it's got directions to make a little apple crumble. Uh, here in Canada, we call that apple crisp, so I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh my God, it's a product of Brazil. Blended and packaged in Canada. Prepared in Canada. The crumble mix is the only part that's a product of Brazil. If you guys are learning fun shit with me, you like it here, right? <laughs> okay, now to go for the thing that is actually like right on top here. Oh my god. Whoa, it's a big hat. <laughs> got a pom pom hat. It's got all the little white things on it, just ignore that. I got a little pom-pom hat. <laughs> this is a nice knit hat. It does not have a tag. Oh, there's a tag. Is that a tag? It's a tag. So it goes this way. It is so big. Do I have a small head? Do I have a small head? It's like flopping around. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Probably fold up the edge of that. It's fine. Okay, right there. Nice little pom pom. Pom pom. Okay, underneath the hat. Ooh. Covered in this little paper stuff. 
we have a nice little little mug little people are gonna call this plaid it's a buffalo check <laughs> nice silicone topper keep your hot drink nice and warm in the cold Canadian climate Posh Fox Peppermint Marshmallow Natural Handcrafted Vegan Bath and Body. Luxurious bar soap crafted with nourishing butters and skin loving oils out of Dundas, Ontario. That's funny. I go to a shop, like a handmade shop, all the time in Dundas. I've never seen these people. You'd expect them to be there. Maybe they had the shit, same shit experience that I did. So yeah, we got some nice. Oh, that's the good peppermint. Oh, that's the good peppermint that doesn't like burn you. It's like, like I'm peppermint, not I'm peppermint. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm slowly going insane. Okay, it's fine. There's paper under there. What have we got over? Ooh, oh, what is that? Is chocolate dipped licorice with little Christmas sprinkles on it. Norm and Lenore. Oh, I like you guys already. Mm. They're from Toronto. All right. All right. I've never had chocolate dipped licorice. Huh. I look forward. I look forward to eating that. Okay. And the book. Let's shake it off. <laughs> Two wrongs make a right. Chloe, how do I say? You can't see it. There's a cat trying to climb me right now. Um, Chloe, lice, lice, let's see. I don't. Looks like we have a little tattooed girl and a maybe nerdy kind of boy. Come here, babe. You know, you don't want to come. Opposites become allies to fool their matchmaking friends in this swoony reimagining of Shakespeare's beloved comedy, Much Ado About Nothing. Jamie Westenberg and Bea Wilmot, B. Wilmot? But B. Wilmot. Have nothing in common except a mute disaster and the mutual understanding that they could not be more wrong for each other. But when the people closest to them play Cupid and trick them into going on a date, Jamie and B realize they have something else in common after all. An undeniable need for revenge! <laughs> Soon their plan is in place. Fake date obnoxiously and convince the meddlers they're madly in love, then break up spectacularly and dash everyone's hopes, putting an end to the matchmaking madness once and for all. To convince everyone that they've fallen in... To convince everyone they've fallen for each other, Jamie and B will have to nail the performance of their lives and probably each other. Oh, um, <laughs> but as their final act nears and playing lovers becomes easier than not, they begin to wonder what if Cupid's era wasn't so off the mark? And what if two wrongs do make a right? There? Yeah, that's good. And then we seem to have a letter from the author that is long and I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to read it to you because I don't need to. It's fine. Can you even hear me when I'm turned that way? There we go. <laughs> I'm going to check the paper once. We're good. Wow. We're good. <laughs> so there we have it. A December 2022. What the fuck is it? Hushbug book box. <laughs> Guys, it's midnight. <laughs> I've been out with my girlfriends for hours. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this was a mistake. I came home and I was sitting by the door and I'm like, I've got to open it now. <laughs> I haven't even been drinking. <laughs> okay. So there we have it. Hush, hush bug book box. Uh, like I said, this is December, and like I said at the beginning, I thought I had maybe ordered the cat one. I didn't remember. So it seems like they do the occasional, like, special one. Like, I think I saw in my email that they have, like, a special Valentine's one that they've started to to sell. Uh, and like I said, they had the cat one, they had a Christmas one. 
So it sounds like they do months as well as special ones, so I'm sure there could be something for everyone. This is a pretty good, pretty good selection. Other than that fucking gourmet village, because I fucking hate gourmet village. <laughs> uh, couple bad experiences turn me off of literally anything they do. Once you have an oily hot chocolate, you're pretty much done. You're pretty much done. Anyways, I'm real excited about this chocolate covered licorice and this wonderful peppermint smell and soap that smells real nice. So, there we have it. If I find the email or recall how much I paid, <laughs> I will let you know in the comments and um, in the comments of the description. And like I said, it is a Canadian based box um, that's shipped out of Pickering. So not, not far from me. <laughs> It's a drive. Um, <laughs> all right. That's all. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you around next time.